Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to generate random numbers and random array values. So go ahead and open up the app here. And so, the first thing you want to do is create a new random variable. So you take random, which is the type it is, the name, which we're just going to go random without the capital R, equals new random. Parentheses, semicolon. So we just meet, we create a new random variable, a new random variable named random. Okay, so now that we have it, let's make a number out of it. So we now we need to declare an int number equals random dot next. Double parentheses semicolon. Okay, so it creates a variable because this variable is not really a variable we can print out because it's a random. So we got to create a number, int number equals to random dot next dot next is what creates the random number which it's going to create um, any number any random number up to its maximum capacity so if you go system dot console dot right line number it's going to spill out any random number press debug see any random number, but if you want a max value because you don't want to go over a certain number, like say over 100, now your number won't be over 100. See 60. If you want to set a minimum value, you can just type the minimum value, say let's go between 50 and then a comma and then see int minimum value and the maximum value. Our, ma our minimum is going to be 50 and our max will be 100. So if you press debug again, we're going to get something between. 50 and 100. See, we have we get 91. Okay, that's how to generate a random number. Now we're going to learn how to uh, generate a random array value. Okay, so now all I've done is declared a new int array, and we named it array, and it holds three values. Its values are 1, 2, and 3. Okay, so we go ahead and keep this random line here, and int number, but instead of making it in between 50 and 100, we want it to be the array values, or 0, 1, and 2. So we can go array.length, which gives us a random number in between the smallest array number, which would be 0 in this case, and 2 in this case for the max. So it's generating a random number in between 0 and 2. Then instead of writing right line number here, which would just give us the value it chose, which one, whatever one of these it chose, we want to print the array with one of these numbers. And the number we want to print will be number because it will be random. So it's going to give us a random value out of here and then print it on the console window. So if you press debug, you get a 1. Press debug again, you get a 3. Because it's picking a random number and assigning it to this int and then writing the array and the part of the array will be number. So if number is 2, it's going to print 3. If number is 1, it'll print 2. And if number is 0, it'll print 1. Okay, so that's how to generate random numbers and random array values.